Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever time you're watching this show. Welcome to yet another exciting season of the backstory. This right here is season 5 and as you can see on your screen, we have a brand new amazing couple. Let's call them the Njathas, right? Yes. So this is where now the producer puts the makofi. Yay! <laughs> so guys, Manze. Yeah. Welcome to season 5 of our back, of our back story. Mm -hmm. Asante ni sana kwa just taking your time and just uh, being with us here. Yeah. We do not take it for granted because we know it's a sacrifice and we hope this story will encourage and build so many people out there. Yeah. So uh, from us for the back story Asante na karibu feel at home. Guys as you can see man Mandari in a kuban. The 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 ambience has accepted. <laughs> we are, it was going to school. We are at uh, doctors executive furniture in Westlands, Manzi. We're going to put a you're gonna see a video and photos of the place and they have amazing furniture. You guys can come and check this place out. It's an amazing show showroom. Yeah. So guys without further ado, this is how we do it at the backstory. Okay. Uh Monday, you'll introduce Benjamin, okay. and Benjamin, you introduce your wife. All right. Yeah. That's okay. So you guys are going to, to decide who starts. Usually, we have a coin toss for those couples who do not want to agree. Uh, but, <laughs> but if you agree, you don't have to toss the coin. I'm usually okay with her going first, so she can, she can take it away. <laughs> Ladies first. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, hey, this is quite something interesting. I'm used to introducing myself. Yeah, I but know. Well, um, <laughs> He's Benjamin Jada. Uh, he's a husband to one, <laughs> me. Yes. And uh, he's he's a father. Oh, okay. Uh, he's a father to one as well. He's uh, the lead pastor at uh, Kibali Ministry that mm -hmm. is located at Fevutra. Um, uh, and uh, besides that, he's also a businessman. Okay. He he sells. We both do sell perfume. We mm. do his perfume. Yeah. So from profiling to advising to the actual selling of the perfume. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. And uh, yeah, I think that's basically it. Yeah. Yeah. You should have put that uh, uh, pasta. Senior, you know that uh, challenge that yeah. you do on, on TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. The DGO. <laughs> the DGO pasta. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, we're so glad to be here in, uh, at uh, the backstory. And uh, this is uh, Mwendenjata, my one and only. <laughs> Sabuni ya roho kuliko pesa. <laughs> yeah, and she's a mom to my son. And uh, we, we are so blessed to be that family. Together, mm -hmm. we passed a Kibali ministry. Okay. And uh, we're also in the marketplace as uh, uh, we do sell perfume. And uh, yeah, basically, that's it about us. And we are so passionate about relationships. Yeah. Yeah, we like talking about. So, this is a very uh, at home place for us. Yeah. Yeah, and we are, we are grateful. Yeah, maybe you could link your, your business 
if guys want perfume, yeah. Mm. Perfumes where do they get you? Mm. Yeah, they can get us on Facebook, uh, yeah. the man code. Yeah. Man code, yes. yes. Okay. Unfortunately my Instagram page was uh, plugged down, so I'll have to start it again. Ah, but okay. it will be still the man code. So the man code is or oh, the name of the, it's the, the page. Name. Yes, yes. All right. We we we're going to put a link down okay. there so that anyone who is interested so you only sell men sense no only. we do both um, oh okay. yeah. it's, the <laughs> it's the name <laughs> okay yeah yeah that's interesting that's amazing guys mm-hmm. so welcome to the backstory once again uh we're gonna start now from the beginning when not, not the very beginning but the beginning of this relationship mm-hmm. yeah. like how did you guys meet and how was it just take us through that uh moment yeah yeah Wait, how sorry, sorry, before you even go on, how many years have you guys been married? Five years. Five. Yeah, this is our sixth year. Wow, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that, so far the oldest couple you've interviewed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not all in terms of age, in terms of uh, the Specific number of years they've been married. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. nice. <laughs> okay. Oh, so how did we meet? Uh we met in Bible school. Okay. So me and how we have done uh, theological studies so okay we were together at spirit of faith bible school okay uh, at that time it was located at uh, nairobi baptist along Congress. okay but uh it seems uh moved to karen okay so when i joined uh, school and then just got to know people interact with people then me and her became friends okay so from the get-go it was just friendship it yeah. was just real genuine friendship of uh, you know brother me meets sister <laughs> though she never wanted me to call her sister <laughs> you can talk about sister <laughs> so uh, sister so. and then um i got to notice uh certain things concerning her concerning her character okay. concerning her you know relationship with god okay. and what stood out for me is how her her her, her conscience is so tender towards god yeah like she would hear god she had reverence for god and of course, uh, as a as a woman, though this I, I didn't notice immediately something that was very interesting. I didn't notice how beautiful she was. Yeah. So I just noticed <laughs> these other you know values around her. You know she would dress decently. You know. Yeah. And then her makeup was always on point, and her hair was on fleek. And then, but I it didn't really you know settle to me that this is a person I could see until one time. I think we were just talking and then she passed a comment concerning something yeah. and then I, it really clicked yeah this, this is a person who is uh, self-driven they know their place uh in society so why not uh, hook up with her and then as they say the rest is his <laughs> future <laughs> <laughs> nice one yeah, yeah. <laughs> which year was this by the way this was uh, the year 16. that you yeah 2016 okay, okay. That is yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah okay yeah, so as you say, is um we met in Bible school. Yeah. But fi- funny thing, when I was joining Bible school, kinda my mom knew that I would meet my husband there. Wow. I don't know how she did. <laughs> she told me about it, but I was like, you know, in my mind I thought I was really young back yeah. then. So in my mind I thought Bible school, yeah. but the two are then one. <laughs> so I thought I was the youngest, yeah. and I'm the one who will be the smallest. Yeah. And uh, so when my mom said, "Ah, uh-huh, you'll go and meet your husband," I was like, "Mom, kill him to apo ameo, and then I'll just be the youngest. Yeah. So there's nobody. So when I was joining." that was not on my mind yeah. and uh, i was also not looking to get into a relationship okay so when when we got there um he was the smartest guy in our class <laughs> 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 yeah in terms of how how he understood the world yeah how he interacted with the lecturers the kind of questions he would ask yeah. and the challenges he would also challenge us and uh, I'm I'm really interested or I just love I love being with people who who just make me think beyond. Mm. I love smart people yeah. and so that drew me to him. Yeah. And uh I really wanted his friendship. <laughs> but um so he had a friend 
a lady friend yeah. and they had come from the same church yeah. and so in my mind i thought that the two of them were dating because uh, they were always together yeah so because i really wanted to know if he was dating if they were dating yeah i became friends with the lady <laughs> and um as you we were just talking with the lady and all that yeah no one day while he was seated in class yeah. he was asking a question mm-hmm. to another friend of his and this question was in regards to i think there was a lady yeah. whom they were dating or engaged and he was to marry that lady okay. but now the relationship had broken oh, okay. so i passed by when he was asking like really can this be i thought he would be my wife but why have things just broken so yeah. i was like ah this guy is not married <laughs> <laughs> this guy is not married <laughs> neither does he have someone whom he's going to marry because the girl he thought that uh he would marry yeah they have broken off so when we became friends with this lady yeah. friend of his um i just i don't know but things were just being orchestrated in between so the lady through the lady i got to know more about him yeah. and i got to understand that they were actually not dating but ah. they were friends because yeah. they were in the same church okay. and they have just been together so yeah in my mind i knew for sure he's single there is nobody there nice. yes yeah <laughs> so at what point did uh, now this become a thing mm. like how did it start until you got to his to be his girlfriend mm. or because most uh, if you ask most ladies mm-hmm. they were never asked to be girlfriends Mm-hmm. one thing led to another one day after the other eventually you just found yourself higher me mini girlfriend <laughs> <laughs> the question was the, the actual question was never asked oh yeah, yeah. yeah. the situation she until you become a girlfriend <laughs> so how did how was the journey lead, that, that led towards uh, that direction like mm-hmm. you becoming his girlfriend okay. yeah. yeah so um from then onwards we really became close friends yeah. really close friends but at no point did i think that would date yeah so at some point i started seeing him as a big <laughs> i made it so clear about that but complexity yeah because uh we are only two girls at home yeah. and i always desire to have a big brother uh, so when he became so close yeah. i saw him like that big brother whom i would always run to and yeah. so i was really interested with his affairs yeah. like who are you dating like i just want to know because uh at that time i used to mentor women mm-hmm. so i had known i knew so much about women yeah. and so i was interested to know yeah. whom he would get married to so um and funny enough that question of me telling him that you know i would i would really want to meet the girl that you that you want to marry yeah. is what opened his eyes <laughs> and he was like yo who you really interested about the person i'm going to marry i'm going to marry you and so um so the first time he, he asked me out after a couple of months of being close friends yeah. one day he told me you know what he came straight and told me i want you to be the mother to my children oh. I want you to start. I want us to start a family. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, he said, I want us to start a family. <laughs> so, me need check because <laughs> I I thought it was one he's really funny. Yeah. So I thought it was one of those jokes. <laughs> and I was like, Allah, me me like what? So I didn't I didn't consider that request yeah nikaacha na tu na yeye kwanza nikamlenga na nikalenga hizo story by the way so had it to ki even when we are walking even when we are going anywhere yeah. i would i would just lenga that story yeah. and so one day he came um and in between that season i also took time to just ask god like like how is this guy is he serious or it's just one of those jokes because i wanted the next guy that i would date yeah. 
we are not breaking up. I wanted it to end up in marriage. And so I was very intentional about allowing anyone to get into a relationship with me. So I began asking God. And one particular day after class, after we left school, I just went home. There's a room that I used to go and pray. I just went there and prayed. And I told God, I gave him some ultimatums. And I told God, if this guy is serious with me, these are some of the questions I would want him to ask me. Or these are some of the things yeah. I would want him yeah. to hear him say so that I may know yeah. he's the one. Yeah. But, and these questions I had never ever told anyone. Yeah. One of my mentors had told me it is good sometimes yeah. to just tell God your desires and don't tell anyone else. Let it just yeah. be between you and God. Oh, yeah. And so I took up that challenge. Yeah. And so on that particular day, I told God the things that I wanted to hear from this guy. So the next day when we went to school, yeah. this guy used to pick me up in the morning and we would go together. So that day, he told me everything that I told God. You know, first I was shocked. <laughs> I was like, no, this is not happening. Who are you? Like, you are not home. Like, I've never told anyone, but yeah. why are you telling me this thing? So first I was shocked. I was really shocked. But then I was shocked and I was kind of happy because I was like, ah, this is it. Like this oh, guy is yeah. serious. And because I started like, today I'm very serious about what I told you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a joke. This is the, this the, is the next, next day. day. Yes, the next wow. day after I prayed and told God, my desires and the kind of questions that I wanted yeah. to hear him ask me. Yeah. So he said everything. And I was so shocked. <laughs> so shocked. <laughs> but then still, I didn't, at, at that moment, I didn't say yes or no. Yeah. So one day after class, we, we went for a short break. Yeah. And he came and told me, you know what? I know you already know what you want. But it seems like we are not on the same page. <laughs> <laughs> and he was very serious. <laughs> and the truth is, I knew that I wanted him. Like, I knew that I wanted him because most of the things were tick, tick, yeah. tick, tick. <laughs> and plus, you know, in that session of us just being friends, I had also seen his character, yeah. how he behaves when he's angry, like, I had seen yeah. all these things. And so I had known I, I can be able to deal with this stuff, yeah. you know? <laughs> so when he said that, and he was like, me, because we're not on the same page, I think, let's just stop all these things. He, that thing hurt me. <laughs> that thing hurt me. And, and so, yeah, I told him, I told him. So after we went back to class, I told, when we were going home, I told him, yeah, I think, Let's do this. Yeah. But the reason I was delaying is that I just wanted a special moment. I wanted to create, I'm a bit extra. <laughs> so I wanted to create like a whole, a whole ceremony of me saying, yes, I want to be your, to be your girlfriend. I had planned a picnic and all those things. But then it yeah. came before. Oh, and that's how we started dating. Don't this on, it feels familiar to me because that's exactly what I First time we hung out together was uh, at a restaurant in town. Yeah. So actually, she's the one who paid. She bought me <laughs> the, the 
let me say dinner because it was after school yeah. right so we went just sat ate some fries and chicken yeah and then we we're just talking general conversation yeah and then after that there was a time there was this time uh she she called me over from i was coming from church yeah. she was coming from church and then she's like if you're in town i'm with my friends here so you can come we hang out so we again met at kfc yeah. uh on kimathi street yeah i had uh, had lunch met some of uh, her friends got to know them yeah. and then we went to town and took photos mm-hmm. and those photos were like hey this is a couple <laughs> this is before, this is before even yeah. asking her before out yeah. just yeah. like friends yeah, yeah. so I mean, I was in a suit because I was coming from church and then she was she was dressed nicely so we were just taking photo, yeah. photos and yeah then we just kept them for for posterity as friends so after I asked her out I think our, our first date was um, I can't remember I think we did did we do a picnic yes yes yeah, yes yes we did a, we picnic. Did a picnic at Aboretum yeah. but it was more of a prayer yes. prayer kind of meet up yeah. so uh, did we carry you carried food yes yeah and so she carried snacks, food drinks. yes and so yeah. we prayed and then we just sat there and talked yeah. and then after that we went to a restaurant around uh pangani mm. for breakfast okay. together yeah. Yeah. so that's when now we we started really farming it up okay. around marriage around the wedding yeah. around where we're gonna stay what we're gonna do together like really really talk about it because you know now hash is very that sanguine so and uh, at times me i tend to just let humor get into everything yeah. so we might <laughs> if we are not objective we might not get to talking around you know yeah, that sort yeah. of stuff so <laughs> that that breakfast for me was really different okay. it was uh, it was a moment of truth yeah. that hey actually i'm getting married so i think after that breakfast is when i started telling you know people who are special to me uh, my dad my brothers like you know i think i've met somebody and you know and also my pastor that time i think my pastor had already told him and uh yeah started uh, maybe preparing myself moving house yeah. and uh, conversations around that that was that to me was very different and it had never yes i had gone out with uh, maybe other ladies on dates but this was very different yeah it was really really yeah. different First of all, as I said earlier, like her conscience and you know her understanding of God, especially the spiritual aspect of God and that God is relational, yeah. he can talk to us, he's a father yeah. and all that. That was really uh, it was really something. And then she she had that maturity around her. Mm-hmm. So as she was saying, she kept asking me, you know, I want to meet the girl you'll marry, you bring her for vetting, do this and that, because and then she said something because you know hiyo mafuta uko nayo inataka mtu rashikini hiyo mafuta i'm like okay okay so you think that way that's uh, that was a pointer so i went prayed about it uh, and then god was speaking to me stuff concerning her yeah. and it's stuff that was like really locked up within her like it's, yeah. nobody knew yeah. so i think the time i was praying about it is also the time she was also having those conversations yeah. with god because later on that morning happened when she she came and then we were together in the bus and i was telling her about this stuff or uh, about what the lord had ministered to me and uh, i didn't really mention you know god and all that i was just telling her i know this about you i know this about you i know this about you and she was so shocked <laughs> and then like from there i got to ask her out like really tell her this is serious i'm not i'm not joking this is not the jokes that i, I keep making <laughs> and then uh played that card of uh, <laughs> 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 if you are going nowhere with this eh? <laughs> Barrow, let, let my people go <laughs> yeah so uh 
and then she she agreed she said yeah we can give it a try and after that yeah so me i said uh, i set the modus operandi the, the operating procedure for this you know just as a leader i thought maybe let me make her know my values mm. and how i intend to carry this you know like things around chastity i, I just thought it in my in my place to, to tell her as a lady so that she doesn't wonder eh so it was that and then uh later on got to propose to her in a very surprising way I, before we get here yeah. <laughs> yeah, we are jumping the, the gun, the gun. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I still want us to dwell on the dating scene you know? mm-hmm. uh, like how long was it how was it were they did you guys agree on everything From where I see it, I, I, I think that's not the reality because yeah. something that is genuine and uh, if you're engaging with each other from a place of genuineness yeah. and openness, yes. conflict is one of the things that you'll have mm. yeah. all along. At a, I don't know, even a couple of 70 years, yeah. it's only that now their conflicts are minimal because their they are, they are values, their yeah. uh, preferences in life mm. have, have changed. Yeah. But if I'm relating to her and it's for everybody out here if you're relating to the other person from a genuine standpoint yeah. you've been socialized different yeah. yeah you grew up differently in a, maybe in a different corner of the world yeah. you've uh, met different people uh, your experiences what yeah. shapes your perception is different and yeah. for the other person as well so if you're coming together and you're trying to you know merge and get to create something out of that definitely there'll be conflict yeah. mm-hmm. the way she sees uh Time is not the mm. way I see time. Yeah. The way she sees money is not the way I see money. So once you begin those conversations, you find that there will be there will be conflict, and it's a good thing because yeah. now it means she's not shortchanging you. Yeah, yeah. It's it's very bad that I I have a lady who's just agreeing with everything. everything. Yeah. Yeah. everything. She's never she never. <laughs> I don't think I can live with such a person. <laughs> she never has her own perspective and yeah. her own preferences and yeah. tastes and. You know, she never tells me, you know, I don't like the way you put on those shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody is in treatment. Yeah, you yeah. know, so one of you is in treatment. Yeah. I remember I never used to, uh, she changed how I shaved. Okay. Me, I just used to shave, like, uh, functionality, for functionality. No, this is the end of within this week. So, I like, Kwaruza it like my forehead. Yeah. And she, <laughs> she, one day she took me to the barber shop. <laughs> and showed a picture of the bubble like you see this eh? this is what i want on this guy and i was just like, like a like a schoolboy. Like, okay mom <laughs> and it worked well yeah. so along the way for me and her there has been conflict especially that we are both strong personalities yeah, yeah? she's been in leadership in ministry in, in yeah. spaces that she's worked and I'm also you know i'm driven and all that yeah I'm choleric so there's always that conflict mm. yeah. but then we got to understand that it, that is our strong point mm. okay yes it calls us out it enables us to see things differently yeah uh, i get to get value from her i also get to compliment what she yeah. is doing but i remember this one time when we had conflict and we were coming from school this time i shine your box as a <laughs> now i feel like to in Mendele, yeah. towards that direction so we're coming from school and I remember we used to walk from that in Long Road and just because it's an evening yeah. Yeah. and we come from school at four so it's just walking for the pole, we get to town mm. and then everybody goes their way. Yeah. So I don't know what we were talking about but we disagreed mm-hmm. like she, she pulled in the <laughs> And then what did that she do? She walked away. 
she just walks away she's yeah. like you know boy bye <laughs> <laughs> And he used to carry my bag. And I used, so, yeah, so she I took the bag and grabbed the bag and, and left. I'm like, wow, eh. this is this is strange. <laughs> so <laughs> from where I come from, we yeah. don't do that around conflict. <laughs> yeah. You sit down and address the elephant in the room. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we talk about it. Because yeah. going away doesn't solve it. That's true. Yes. So I just let her go. And then I don't know whether I followed up with a phone call or was it a yeah, text? I didn't used to. I didn't used to like him. If, if I'm mad at him, yeah. I didn't used to pick his call. Yeah. Neither <laughs> reply to his text. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. So I don't know whether I followed so up with a follow Yes. <laughs> and I told her, yeah. you know, with me, we deal with the issue. Yeah. It might not be immediately. Yeah. Maybe later, but the thing is that we deal with the issue with the and issue. you don't walk away. Yeah. Yeah. Because there is nothing that is too big. Yeah. Not to that can't be resolved. That's true. Yeah. So that's how we've managed conflict all along, even in our marriage. Yeah. Yeah. We might put it off for the moment and then yeah. come back to it, or we might change location, like get okay. out of the house, yeah. Yeah. go for a drive, and then just talk about it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's awesome. Uh, you also asked for how long you did. Oh yes, you yes. Did for 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 long. Uh, six months. Yes. Six months. Yeah, we did it six months. Six months and then the wedding. Yes. yes. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> when you let's take a short break. Okay. Then when you come back now, you can you can tell us why the six months. All right. Because okay. people believe mm-hmm. the longer you date, the better. Yeah. You get to know this person. Yeah. You know how they act, how they when they're angry. Yeah. So people say if you date for a short period, you're marrying someone you don't know. Yeah. yeah but I'm from a different. Uh, School of, school of thought, thought because even me I, I think i dated my wife for less than a year okay. because my my idea and what i think is uh it, people can pretend even for 10 years yeah. if they want to yeah. put up a show they can put up a show for yeah, 10 years sure. so you will only know someone once you are in it with yeah. them That's and they right. can no longer pretend because you are there every day looking at them <laughs> okay. so when you come back we pick it up from there let's okay. just take a short break and then come back okay okay